Now, can you imagine a car that drives around without a driver? That may be the next big technology bet for the $30 billion internet giant Google. In an exclusive interview to NDTV's Shweta Rajpal Kohli, Nikesh Arora, the global president of Google, talks about how the technology has been tried and tested by them already. Many of your dollars also going towards some offbeat ideas and projects, self-driving cars, is that right? Isn't that great? It is great. It is no, great. Just but think tell about us a little it. more just about it. Just think about it. Like, you know, if you think about traffic, and I just drove around your city and it was phenomenal how long it took me to get from one place to the other. Do you realize that 20 to 30 percent, there's still 20 to 30 percent space between cars when they're driven by humans and you can reduce that to 2 percent if you have a computer driving it? Because a computer's response time is 10 times faster than humans. Just imagine the ramifications of a car that could drive itself. Now, I don't know if it's going to happen in my lifetime or your lifetime. That was my next question. When are we going to see those self-driving cars? I don't and, know, and, but and you considering see, that Google's betting its money on it. Oh, we're not betting our money. Don't, don't underestimate. You know, we want uh, lots and lots of interesting projects to happen. Because the one thing which is important in our culture as a company is we want people to experiment. If we don't allow people to experiment, we're never going to have innovation. And it's okay for some experiments to fail. It's right. okay for some experiments to be off the wall. Right. Right. Otherwise, we wouldn't have designed Android. We wouldn't have designed Chrome. We wouldn't have designed Google Maps. We wouldn't have designed Gmail. All these things came because some guy had a wacky idea. He was 26 years old, and he decided he wants to challenge tradition. So you have to allow people to challenge tradition in whichever way they want to. Otherwise, if you try and constrain innovation, if you try and constrain experimentation, you get bad results. So you know what? Guy wants to design driverless cars. Go for it. Maybe it's driverless or pilotless airplanes next. I don't know. <laughs> right. But, but, but what I really need to ask is that, is this just an idea or is this something that Google is actually serious about? This is a subset of engineers who have actually used very interesting technology to try and drive cars around without drivers. Uh, they're having a great time. They've been able to prove that that actually works. They've actually competed with people like me and the cars are driven better than me. So you've seen that technology and I've, it is I've, working. I've sat in a car which I didn't have to touch the steering wheel. 